Hey guys, my name is Caroline. I'm a product genius for digital services. So I just want to show you how our digital key works for the moment. And we just go over and I hold it just next to the door handle and I can open and close it. Best thing is I could even just turn it off and it will still work. And even if I forgot to charge it, I could still work it out and just open. And now I go inside and show you more. Now I'm inside the car and before telling you how to use the digital key, I just want to show you how it would be if you're on a vacation, but you want to send a digital key to one of your friends. Here's the digital key now. I just click on digital key and I can just share my digital key with someone. And now if this someone gets the digital key overly connected app, he will just sit inside my car and here are the profiles remembering everything they like and everything I like. So in that moment I would take my car and another one could also just configure his own profile and just take it with them. Wherever they go and in which car they're sitting they can just import everything they need. So now I will just put my digital key to the wireless charging station and now there we go it's uh, charging at the same time I can now start the engine just easily and now I want to talk about a little bit about our great operating system 7 our operating system 7 is now as you knew it before maybe all the widgets you remember so six of them they just wandered here and now we have it on those sides it just looks a little bit different but it is the same content one is missing so we got five here and one is missing which is messages we just put it up here so you can find it easily so if there's a message coming now we've got two they will stand here and now I go back and show you how I can configure my own home screen. I just tap on one for a longer while or I just use this button easily. And I want to add a new page. I just click on new widget and I decide what I want to have inside. Of course I want my sport displays. I'm sitting in a great car so driving the 8 coupe makes sense to have a little sport display inside and now I want even more of those and tap on communication. So now I created my own screen. I can have two of those widgets or three or I can even add a fourth one. For me that's enough. I just click on done and this is my home screen now. I can add up to 10 of these pages if I like. So just makes my life easier. So I don't know how many of you have to work on your way to work, but I do. So I just gonna show you how I do this inside my eight coupe. I just click on email and I gonna have all of my emails. And this is just Microsoft Office 365. And now I could just open one of those and see here I can just read it out loud or I just reply and in that moment I could just make it easily. I respond to her and I dictate a message. What I can do as well is having Office 365 on board makes it also easy to get in inside my calendar. And this is my calendar for today. So we're just going to have a small look inside. What do I have to do today? Okay, there's a few things I need to do, but there's also a Skype meeting. And now, due to our new system, I can just join by phone. So now the system is just understanding who I want to talk to. And then I can sit inside my car and even contact all of my Skype contacts. 
and if they have a discussion, I can just join, even if I'm sitting inside my car. For all of you who are using an iPhone, like I do, we also have an opportunity to get inside the car with the, your phone. You just take your digital key with you. It just looks like this. It has the same function as the one inside the Android. We're talking about NFC. NFC means near field communication. But of course we have to secure that. And we have a security chip inside this card and also inside the Android system. So with that, you just put in it at the same point as you would put your phone and then we can start the engine as well. And I want to show you how easy it is to work with Apple CarPlay. So now I connected it already. So I can always switch between my Apple CarPlay, which works wirelessly, as you see. And now I can go into Napster, I can go into my notifications and all of that, and I can just go back. And it is as simple as that. So I can use both even when I'm driving, and I just switch between those two if I like it. So there's one more thing I want to show you. Maybe you know our gesture control, and this is how I always use it. So if I turn on the music, I just have the opportunity to just use my two fingers to now press mm, don't want to listen to music anymore. I just turn it on. To show you how I can now switch between my songs. I just press that to say I want to have the next one and I go back with that and I say I want the one the previous one so this is how I do it and there's one more cool function I can use it's just this one here's my last calls if I like and I can always choose which one I like so now I show you this is the first one I did and I said of course on mute because I like that but I could also switch on control display on and off so sometimes in the night if it's too much light you just turn it off easily or you use the voice control to activate it. Or now it's the second gesture that is completely new. We can navigate to home address. We can use it for notifications or for recent calls as I did now. So, and this was it. Now I'm just gonna close it with my card, easy. I just put it away. And thank you for listening. And this was our lovely connected drive.